Welcome to this video where we show you where we stayed during our one week stay in Kuala Lumpur. We'll show you exactly what you can get for $50 a night. We were in an amazing location with this epic view of the Merdeka Tower. We also had views of the Petronas Towers and it was very close to the monorail station. Made it for an excellent location to see all of the hot spots of Kuala Lumpur. And what made this place even better is that we were on floor 13 with the number 213 everywhere, which is Leon's lucky number. Place came with the little flip flops. I'll give you a quick tour, um, really big door. It looks pretty brand new too. Like there's the oven. The oven still has like the plastic stuff and everything. Same with the dishwasher. Still got styrofoam and stuff. It looks like. Leon and I won't be appearing in this video as we didn't really plan to share it, but we did have a couple videos that we took that we wanted to share with you guys. Um, but it has a washer and a dryer in here, like the two in one. And we are on uh, the 13th floor. Um, good thing I kept these from our random hotel stays because it doesn't have any sugar or coffee or salt or anything like that. This is the living room area. Amazing internet, like what is it, 110 up, 110 down. Smart TV, look, the tape is still on the TV, yeah, so this is definitely a new unit. Uh, and then this is our view, which is incredible. You can see the Petronas Towers just right there. And this is the Merketa Tower, which is the second largest in the world. Um, and then the big football stadium. The views of the skyline at night were just incredible. Which is amazing. And... This is uh, the bedroom. High ceilings, uh, great storage space, very good for that kind of stuff, you know, modern light switches and again the same view. Uh, this We have a balcony, it's quite small, um, but you can, you can, you know, sit out here no problem. And uh, the kitchen table has, uh, you know, like Ikea type of chairs we could put out there. Bathroom is nice and big, you know, very modern. Massive shower. So it's great. Very good. Patronus Towers over here. This is the eighth floor facilities. We just went up to the 16th floor, but I forgot to film, which is the more gym area. And they have like a luxury, like a cool down pool, little gym for the kids. temporarily closed 
Um, and right here, they're building a shopping center, obviously to go with the big towers. They've got the tower, they're building a big shopping center and doing some upgrades on the stadium. And the MRT line is over here. So in another year or so, this area will look very, very different. And you can see the Petronas Towers there in the background. And my favorite part, look at the mini cut. And this is the second pool of the building. This is the infinity pool, which is another beautiful area that you can relax and hang out and enjoy the views of the city, both day and night. Really nice view. One thing to keep in mind with the Opus residence buildings is that they are owned by multiple different organizations, individuals, and companies. So what you get from one owner may be slightly different from others.